Mm-mm. Right, so we are all ready to rock and roll. Right, what we got? Wait till everyone joins. <laughs> Yo, Harrison, I see you in the chat. Gracie. I'm not sure how good Coin Coaster, I'm not sure how good the lighting's gonna be as it's quite dark outside right now. All right, Zeke. We've got 13 people now. I'm just adjusting everything, make sure all is good. Good luck, Joshua. Cheers. Let's see. Hopefully we can get something good. We'll probably start off with a two pound, then we'll do 50p, then we'll do two pound. All right, Mark. Lisa. So yeah, hopefully we can get something good. So we'll get the two pound album out right now. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's this one. Yeah, so this will be the two pound album. Lighting is good, don't worry. Yeah, I'm just not sure when it comes up to the close up of the coins, if it'll be blurry. But we'll start with a two pound hunt and then we'll do the 50p bag and then we'll do the other two pound bag. So yeah, we've got quite a long one tonight. Uh, hopefully, you know, it doesn't go on for ages, but six o'clock is an all right time. Mate, we'll wait like a minute for everyone's coming, see if anyone else is here to join. We've got 20 people in now. Um, I apologize if my dogs bark because my parents aren't in right now, and if they hear a car, they'll probably bark. So we'll try to keep it to a minimum. Popcorn King, Harry T. <laughs> and then, yeah. 23 of now then, bro. Coin Coaster. Oh, yeah, hey, buddy. Good luck with the hunts. Cheers, coins and more. Um, Yeah, so wait till, you know, wait a couple more minutes. Hopefully, everything should all be good. We'll probably be going for about um hour and a half. It really depends how long it takes, but that's probably maximum. That's how long I could probably speak for. Dylan. So yeah, we'll probably just get started now. So we've got our album. Uh, like usual, we're missing the Northern Ireland of England. So yeah, we will fill these books up at the same time. Underground Roundel and Comedies. So hopefully we can at least get something out of the two bags of two pounds we have. But we've got our scissors. Shay does magic, is here as well. And then we get all this out. Right. Do you remember me? I'm the one who messaged you for the inserts. Yeah. Um, literally, I've probably had like if hundreds of people message me for the inserts. Everyone seems to want uh, want them. So it's not too bad. We'll start for the first bag. Hopefully, it should all be all right. So we've got wireless transmission. Let me see if I can sort out. And then we've got end of World War II. Yeah, I don't know, my dog's going mental behind me. Hopefully I can give you some magic. What was that? I couldn't see it. Magic to help you. Yeah, hopefully. Push that. Maybe. No, that's way too. Yeah, that should be all right. I don't know. What's your favorite two pound wire? Mary Rose. Uh, you don't get it too often. Great design. Uh, it's just always been my favorite, really. Any Q Gardens for sale? Not at the moment. Hopefully soon. Who knows? Depends whenever I can get my hands on them. Let's move it up a little bit. Should be good. Maybe if I go live again this week, I'll probably do um, a bit earlier because we need it a bit more brighter outside because I film right next to the window. So we don't get any light coming in from there, but we did get an active union. The lighting is not the best. Yeah, I know. Um, what football team do I support? I don't really support football anymore, but it would be Chelsea. I'm not sure what I could do. I'm not sure if that helps. We've got 30 people in here. So we'll go for about an hour-ish. Uh, that should, that, I think that looks a little better, like this. Hopefully, but we've got 1999 Rugby. 
World Cup. And another one. The second one. But we got a fair bit of change. Clocks go back this weekend, so we'll have to be. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I forgot about that. Dang. Uh, that's on. Yeah, the weekend, then the weekend. Okay. Not too bad. Feels like I'm doing this at midnight. Yeah, I don't know. Next time I go live, I'll do it a lot earlier. Maybe like around four ish, where it's still quite bright. Northern Ireland, I don't have any of those either. Why does the 1992 50p? Uh, it doesn't sell for as much as the Kew Gardens, mainly because it's still not in circulation. If it was 110%, it would go for double the amount. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what my dog's doing. But yeah, that's probably why, mainly because it's not in circulation. I would say it's a shame though. So, oh, what a great uh, design it has on it. But yeah, it's only about 50, 40 quid to get your hands on it. But definitely worth it. 35 people, make sure you guys drop a like. Be going for a little while. What's the newest two pound coin? Uh, circulation wise, something back from 2016. But you know, we got the 2019 two pound coins. <laughs> uh, 2018's all of that lot, but they're only available in BU, so brilliant uncirculated. They're not so uh, they're not in circulation at all. What's my favorite Olympic 50p? Uh, either shooting, wrestling. Uh, what else? I quite like triathlon. Are 2019 two pounds out? Uh, yeah, we got the Captain Cook. Was it? We had that, but they're not in circulation. No, no. Maybe next year we might get a circulated one. Who knows? Hopefully we do. What we got here? Shoulder to shoulder. So. Nothing Shakespeare wise. Then we've got another Brunel. Sibbing play around with the lighting. Coin cupboard. Bear with me a second. Let me see if I can make you mod. Because add moderator. Yeah, you, you can sort it all out in case we do get any like spam or anything. You're good at that. And then obviously anyone else who I see always here and all that, I can make you mod. And we've got another St. Paul's Cathedral. But hopefully we do pull some beauties, maybe some Olympic two pounds. Commonwealths, Sam, man, how's it going? It's going great. I kind of want to come down to the Mint next time. Um, I'm not sure if I will, but hopefully. I'll probably get trained down on something. It looked like good fun. All the videos everyone's making. What do you need for the two pound book? I'll show you again. So Northern Ireland and England. Then we got that because we can. Uh, we got Beijing the other day, and then we got Roundel to get, and comedies, and that's literally everything we need. So we're doing pretty well. Hopefully we can complete it by the thirty episodes, but we won't count this as an episode. We'll be doing two hunts in one. And then we've got another shoulder to shoulder. More technologies. Went to the mint today on a tour. Security black screens around. Yeah, the 29th. So the day the Wallace and Gromit comes out, which is the 29th, um, we will be getting a, another strike your own. So yeah, everyone thinks it's the Wallace and Gromit. I can assure you it's probably not because, you know, they'll be available to order as a normal bunk coin, silver, all of that. So the strike grind is going to be something different. No clue what it could actually possibly be. Comment down below if you guys have a thought of what it could be. I'm not entirely sure. Will be interesting. Do you think it would be the Brexit coin? Um, didn't even think of that. I'm not sure though. No, because it's going in circulation, isn't it? I think they're going to do like a normal release for that. So, you know, you buy it in bunk, buy it in silver, and that'll be released. Is Wallace and Gromit going in circulation? 
I don't know yet, but I highly doubt it. So yeah, like it will probably follow the steps of the Gruffalo and Stephen Hawkins. But yeah, it won't be circulated. I highly doubt it. Q. If he has a shoot any design for a 50p. I don't know, I'd, for a 50p, I would 100% put something like uh, poppies, something to do with the war. I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. I do like the poppy coins, so something along that, uh, along those lines. Q Garden Strike Gun would be great. Wow, look at that. Look at the... Jeez, that looks like it's been taken out of a set. It looks a lot better in person, trust me, but it's just the lighting. Um, yeah, already got one of those. Yeah, Strike Gun Q Gardens, I'm sure that would drive a lot of traffic there. Good evening, everyone. Hello. Good evening, Monty. But yeah, Strike Gun Q Gardens, that'd be great. I might go live again this week another time. Maybe Wednesday, you know, I'll go try to pick up some more change. Got a Robert Burns, if you guys can see. Where am I from? I'm from Kent. Uh, which are the important Tempe years? Shout out to Dylan for watching. Um, key de well, I can't, I can't even remember what they're. Uh, which are the important Tempe years? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's like 2008. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I've got it uh, wrote down somewhere. Written down somewhere, so... Yeah, I'm not too sure. If you find Northern Ireland, can I buy? Go for it. Unless, actually no, because it'll go, have to go on the album. So, no, you won't be able to. Do you do A to Z 10B hunts? So, a lot of people ask me why I don't do 10B hunts. One, I cannot be bothered to um, package it all up. Because you have to rebag it all, don't you? Just take it back to the bank. What else? You go through 100 pounds, which will take about an hour. And you'll probably find one coin. So yeah, it's not really worth it, but obviously I could do that. I would do them on live streams, but I wouldn't do it on, uh, oh, awesome. I wouldn't do it on video, maybe live streams only. This is the third coin tuber stream in a row. Yeah, I've seen, um, Christopher went live. Who else what was it? Caledonian coins. And yeah, it's good fun. I prefer going live. It means I don't have to edit all the videos. And I can just chill and talk to you guys. And my dog's making funny noises. <laughs> I don't know, what is she doing? New collector here. Nice, nice. It's always good seeing new people. Yeah, we do get a lot of like Australians, Americans on here. Checking out our coins. Pretty cool to see that. What breed is your dog? It's a collie slash poodle. Um, for some reason, as soon as I started filming, now she's making all these funny noises, you know, digging her nose into my bed. So, just being a noise, really. I didn't even know I had a tennis on here. <laughs> just sitting on the windowsill. Oh my gosh. What's your favorite coin from the UK? Probably Isaac Newton. I think that's a great design. Then we got another Florence Nightingale. Yeah, I don't know what is she doing. Good evening, coin cupboard. Ali's here. So that's literally everything we got for the first two pound bag. I'm actually quite happy with it because I do need these two skulls and I do need a Robert Burns. But what we're gonna do is, what's your favorite 2018 50p? Uh, probably Panton at the Palace or Flopsy, I'd say. So we didn't do too bad. So a little overview of how we done. If you guys can see, hopefully you can. I'll push it up a little bit. But a lot of basic stuff. Two skulls, which I will definitely take. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pile them up. And then after all the hunts, we will go through like everything. Oh my God. <laughs> and we'll see. No queue. Yep. Might get a queue in the 50 Ps, so I'll put all these to one side, and then at the end of all the hunting, we will have a look and see what we got. Now, oh, I did not mean to hit the camera. Last time I had one of these, or the time before, I found a queue. So, are we gonna find another queue gardens? Let's hope. 
All sealed bags. The way everyone likes it. Never ever find sealed bags of two pounds for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. Hopefully we find some 2018s. Well, I love the fit to be hunts. Yeah, they are great. Right, I wish you luck for a queue. I'll show you the 50p album. So we're on book three for that. Is this book three? Nope. I need a drink. How much is in there? So in that massive seal bag, there's 250 pound. We got 25 10 pound bags. So here's number three. Last full bag design. Uh, Paddington at the Palace. I found uh, loads of seal bags. People's Act. All of that. So here's the 50p album. So this is book three. We've got the splendid Kew Gardens right there, which we did find. Skip the page. We're absolutely killing this. We're doing really, really well with it. We found a Flopsy as well last hunt. We're still missing Newton, Rabbit and Tittle. St. Paul's Cathedral. And then quite a few of Olympics. But overly, we're not doing too bad. And yeah, so we're going to get straight into this. Let me put the up there. Ooh. Push all these to one side. Right. So we've got 37 people in here. Let's pray. Ronaldo is correct on this game. Atsul said. FIFA. Um, are your coins put in any kind of order? Yes. Yeah, so... The coins go in date order, as you can see, uh, 1998, 2003, you know, all the way up until the date we're at to at the moment, so 2019, up to there, and then I fill the back bit with Olympics, so yeah, I do it in date order, that's how the, um, what is it, that's how the inserts come in like a massive strip of the dates, so just cut it out and just do it like that. But yeah, the everyone loves the albums, which is great. I'm going to see if I can sort this bit out. I think that's a, a little bit better for the 50Ps. But yeah, I, I won't stream it this time again. It's too dark. And then obviously the light just reflects of everything, so you can barely see. But we'll sort it out next time. Nothing for the first bag. Hopefully we can get a couple of gems for this. But ideally, we should be done in about an hour, which would be good. And that is three videos in one live stream. I found Panda at St. Paul's today. That's pretty impressive, that. Already. Squirrel Nutkin, 2016. What day might you do a live stream this week? So, I'm thinking Wednesday. Um... It'll probably be some post office change. So I'm going to bag all this up after. So all this £1,200, which is going to take about three hours to do. And then I will go to the post office, you know, give it to them and then take some of their change. And then hopefully Wednesday. And we'll, we'll do it at like, um, we'll, probably, we'll probably do it around 4pm so where it's nice and bright. I missed that message. Has anyone got any problems with their West? Their graphic turned up from Westminster. Uh, Westminster, sometimes they do like delay it quite a lot. That's something they're known for. So sometimes they'll take a month to post. Uh, just stuff like that, really. So hopefully it should come soon. But I'm sure that you can phone up and cancel it. But yeah, if you want to pre-order some Wallace and Gromits, I've got those ready for the 29th is the release date. Hear the dogs barking in the background. 47 people, not bad, I can't even open this. Make sure you do smash the like button, we're on 22 likes at the moment. Dogs are going mental. My window isn't even open. Got my Gruffalo from you today, nice, nice. I assume probably everyone should have got them today, tomorrow at the latest, as they were all, well majority were posted out first class. So, yeah. Anyway, that's good that it arrived safely. That's what we like to see. Um, 
But yeah, I do. So yeah, on Wednesday we'll go. We'll stream a bit earlier. Oh, awesome! We haven't had one of these in a while, and I'm sure that's something for the album. Do you reckon I? Um, so okay, so 2018 Mintages, they were released as 220,000 each. I thought the mint did say there were 200,000, but the mint have said there's only what is it? 2.6 million of I can't remember off the top of my head. So there's 26. Uh, was it 1.8 million in total of the 2019? So that means it's somewhere around 70,000 of each 2019 alphabet at the moment. So I'm not sure if that's going to, you know, go up. They didn't. They did say they're going to stop at 70,000 each. But yeah, so who knows? It's about 70,000 of each 2019, and what was it? 220,000 of the 2018, so ideally, if the Mint don't make any more, that would be super, super high, but look at that. I just spotted that from a distance. We've got a 2018 Rabbit. Imagine if it was a full seal bag with them. That would be insane, but that's another one for the album. So 2018 rabbits are going for about six, seven quid now, which is, yeah. Oh, look at that. We've got 2019 pounds on as well. So one for the album, a nice little rare one, 1.4 mil of these. And then we've got a 2019 Paddington. But yeah, sorry about the lighting. Uh, 2018, it's the letter S, 2018. What, your favourite? Oh, you found it. That's not bad. S2018 was actually really, really hard to find when they first came out. I'm wondering what 2019.50p will be the low mintage in circulation. Hmm. I don't know. At the moment, it's looking like Cathedral. I would say... Yeah, I'd probably say Cathedral because I haven't seen many people with them like they have with Tower of London and Sherlock's. So that's what I'm going to go for at the moment. But it depends because the Brexit's coming into circulation. But yeah, hopefully we find some more 2018s. And then tomorrow, oh, look at that Panton at the Palace, 2018. What do you think the miniature figures will be for 2019 Pantons? Um, I was shocked about the 2018 Panton mintage. So Tower of London, I'm going to go with like... 7 mil and the cathedrals I'm going to go with like 4.8 million that would be my guess no cathedral at my PO yet yeah it's weird I'm not sure if mine have them I don't, I don't even think my uh, post office order change anymore because I give them like £2,000 worth of change every week but if they do have some change I'll grab some and then we'll stream again Wednesday for a bit earlier so the lighting is all nice and neat. So it's not too dark. And we don't have to use the lighting. Uh, hi, bud. What are you doing for the... What are you doing the penguin sets for? I think the penguin sets are on the website for like £9. So pretty cheap. We've got a four-minute mile. Roger Bannister. So these are the penguin sets. I believe I've got one here. Is that it? Yeah, so there's the penguin set. They're on the website for like nine quid. If you want them in the frame, they are 12, 13. I can't actually remember. I'm sitting on a full 250 bar. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. I would never have thought to keep 2018 rabbits nor uh, flopsies. So, you know, if you've got the money to sit on them, 100% do it. They are uncirculated sets. Yeah, I took them all out of seal bags. We've got another one. 2019 Paddington. Make sure you guys do subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 8k. But literally, once I get... We've got Christopher on the side. So the plan is I'm going to build an office in the garden so I can do more live streaming. I'll do like what Christopher does. I'll do a face cam because I'm sure most of you guys would want to see that whilst you're watching. So we'll go full out. We'll get a nice little setup going. Uh, face cam. You know, a nice little professional little um, setup for these live coin hunts. 
what else? I want some Olympics. I haven't had Olympic in ages. I love the Penguin coins. Do you have the display cases for them? Yeah, I've got uh, the cases separately. I've got the coins separately. Anything you want. And then I do these as well. The little Panton display cases, which are also... They've been flying out like a bomb recently. I think I sold about 100 in about three days. So everyone loves them. But I've seen people uh, wanting the burgundy and like green albums. Currently, I've sold out of the green and burgundy. Will I ever wear a tie for the streams? No, definitely not. That would remind me of school. I hated waking up in the morning, putting on a shirt and tie. Never. But you know, one day we could have like a little mess around. I could dress in like a nice little suit for a stream. <laughs> but who knows? Once the setup's done in the uh, office, 110%, it'll be great. I can't wait. Get a coin suit. Yeah, I could get Q Gardens printed all over uh, a tie. That'd be pretty cool. Half tie. I could wear a, a bow or something. We found a nice little variety. Oh my God, I've missed the start. Oh, good. I don't know what I dropped. Q Gardens? Nah, just a shield. Um, yeah, we done a two pound uh, hunt to start it off with. Not too bad. I just need the Panda and St. Paul's. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard one to find. Give it like a month or two, you'll probably find it in your change. <sighs> Sherlock is super high, everyone fight. Yeah, Sherlock's gonna be very, very, very high. Guarantee that. Coin waistcoat. Oh, I've never worn a waistcoat in my life. Actually, I might have it to a wedding. I can't remember. I had a nice pink tie as well. I found two of the St. Paul's. I did actually see, I was in Greg's the other day and I did see someone hand over a, a St. Paul's Cathedral to them. But I, I never pay and change, so I never get any of the good stuff. I always use my card. What else? Anything? Nope. My dog's crying. <laughs> Will Sherlock be a higher mintage than Benjamin Bunny? Who knows, but at the moment it's going. How many have we found? We found one of each so far. I always ask for 50p's. Yeah, that's what I used to do. When I first started collecting, I used to get, you know, my dad, my mum, you know, friends and family just to ask for 50p's in their change. And honestly, Tesco's, Tesco's is the way. Tesco's, you know, my dad's found Rio handovers. Everything. He finds such good stuff at Tesco's. He'll come home and be like, he'll give me a London Underground and a Rio he found from the till. But he knows everyone who works in there, so they just keep all the coins aside for him. And he just gives them to me, which is pretty cool. But yeah, Tesco's is, you know, like change checker. You find everything in there. Um, anything else? But yeah, tomorrow, if you guys haven't heard, I'll probably, not tomorrow. Oh wait, it is Wednesday tomorrow. Oh God. Um, okay, yeah, we could stream tomorrow as well. I, I thought it was Monday. Okay, so tomorrow, I'm not making any promises. If I do, I'll put it up on uh, Instagram or Facebook, somewhere like that, on my YouTube community page. But... We'll bag all this up and then we'll try to get some change and we'll go live tomorrow, probably about four-ish. Ah, we've got a Jeremy Fisher. So the reason we're going to stream early is because we don't have to have this light reflecting off all the coins and it'll be bright outside, so we'll have really good lighting. But I didn't think it was going to be this dark, which is a shame. And there's our second Benjamin Bonnie. But I'm going to try my hardest. Package all these coins up, take them back, or I might just go to the bank. If you guys want, I could probably secure two pound bags if you're happy with just that. But I'll try my hardest for 50p's. But 50p's do seem the hardest to get from the banks. How much are the 2018 Peter Rabbits worth? 
They're going for about six to eight pounds at the moment. You got shooting today, nice. Definitely one of my favorites. I've got loads of shootings. They are absolutely great. We've got another Sherlock. So we find another bunny and we find another Sherlock. Twenty fifteen, and we got a Victoria Cross medals. But yeah, this lighting is really annoying. <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll go for the stream tomorrow as well. See if I can do a big stream, because this is so much better than doing videos. How about when you do your giveaways, you could run up prize of free postage and packaging codes? Yeah. Um, I did, what I normally do is anyway, so people buy like a hundred pound worth of stuff on my website and they'll pay for, let's say one pound delivery. So like the cheapest one and I normally just upgrade it. So I pay like seven pound out of my money to, let's say upgrade it to special delivery. So yeah, I normally do like free posting and packaging anyway like that, but yeah, I'm sure we could do something like that. Be cool. But yeah, we're getting new out. Well, not new albums. We're getting the restock of the albums. So all the colours will be restocked again. Uh, Tittle Mouse is worth that as well. No, not Tittle, sorry. Flopsy Bunny is worth about six to eight as well. Um, Tittle, I think it's going for about three or four quid at the moment. Jeremy Fisher. Nothing else. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to get a restock of the albums. Everyone loved Burgundy. Burgundy was the one. Everyone loved it. But yeah, I appreciate everyone who bought the albums off here. All five-star reviews, which is great. Happy to see that. It took me, I think, about four or five months to... Let's go. We found another one. Look at that. We found two in one £250 bag hunt. Last night, funny enough, I was watching my own videos back and what was it? I was looking at around 2017, so the 50p hunts I was doing back then, and I would find about five puddle ducks and that would be normal, which is crazy now. I remember going uh, Maystone with my parents and I'd done a, shush, I'd done a 50p coin hunt up there. And we're in the car. I was with my girlfriend in the car. Opened up the 250 pound bag. And I thought Nutkin was rare back then. But I'll be getting Tiggy Winkles. I'll get about 10 or 12 ducks in one hunt. And that was like back in 2016, which is crazy. But it's tight. It's weird how times change. I thought Squirrel Nutkin was the rarest back then. But obviously not. I could never ever get one back then. But now I get them all the time. Careful, people will think you're faking it. Yeah, probably. Imagine the effort it would take to reseal all these bags back up and then, yeah, open them again and then bag them back up to take them back. Crazy. Yeah, my dog's just crying. I've got to take them out after. Um, Anything else? Nope. 43 people in. Hopefully we can get some more tomorrow when the lighting's a lot better. But I'm literally just using like a headlamp right now. Do I, yeah, you do keep seeing a fly. That's what I thought as well. I need to see where it is. It's annoying. Flies are the worst thing in the morning when you can just hear them buzzing about when you're asleep. That is the most annoying thing ever. I'll have a look out for it. Will you be getting more of the 100 capsules plus box. I will be indeed. I'll be getting about 200 of them, which is a lot. I can see the fly somewhere, which is annoying. But yeah, I'm gonna open my window so I can go out or something. Yeah, I'll be getting quite a lot. So everything we got, which is pretty insane. Look at that. One 250 bag. We found two 2018 rabbits. 2018 uh, mintages were released. So 1.4 million. If the two fairy can bring him a Kew Gardens, <laughs> that'd be nice. That'd be a nice little uh, expensive little filler. 
starting to leave under the pillow and then you lose it during the night. Uh, Nutkin, we got EU as well, which was a, a great find. I'm happy with that. But yeah, fill the album, I forgot. It was this one. I think your dog wants to do a bag. I think my dog wants to eat some chicken and go out for a walk. Yeah, that fly is annoying, I can see it. So, yeah, she's just lying on my bed next to me. Uh, gotta bounce, have a good hunt. See you later, coin cupboard. Thanks for coming along. Uh, done a few videos so far, would like to do a live video, but only got 20, yeah, you need, what is it? Do you need a thousand subscribers to do a live video? What is the fastest time you've completed an album? Um, I haven't actually completed one in 30 episodes yet, but we might be able to do it with the 50p hunt because we found a Kew Gardens, so hopefully. <laughs> then we'll put the rabbit in as well. Another great find. And we've got a spare one as well, which is very ideal. But look at that. We found two WWFs last hunt. We still haven't found suffragettes in about 100 odd hunts, which is annoying. Uh, NHS, no. Tittle Mouse. So we haven't got anything else. What we'll do is we'll start, we'll get, we'll get, yeah, it's a thousand subs to live stream. That's insane. That'll take ages when you first start off. So I'll put all this to one side and then we'll show it all at the end. And then we've got a two pound hunt to do now. Let's get rid of all of this. So the last two pound, we'll just chuck all this in the bin. It's annoying though. So much plastic, insane. So we'll put that back up now. Make all this neat again. It's all dirty. Thank you, got a few to go, yeah. Good luck with it. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. So last bag. So the first bag we done a minute ago, we found, what was it? Two skulls. I think that's probably the best thing. Robert Burns as well. But let's get cracking with this bag. So this is the last bit of the hunt. How long are we going? We're going 40 minutes nearly. Why is that just stuck in there? There we go. We need to clean this towel as well, because it's getting dirty. We'll, let's see how we're doing with the two pound. Obviously, England and Northern Ireland. And then we're done with that page. Um, Randall and comedies. And then we're done. Hopefully, we can get at least one of them. Yeah, you need 4,000 hour, 4, hours watch time. That's crazy. You need to do, join the competitions when we all do them. That'll get you some nice exposure. That's definitely the way. And we've got a rugby. Right there. Um, let's see. Come on. At least one, you know, London Underground Roundel. That's what we need. And then we got Law Kitchener. And nothing else. But two pound hunts are my favorite. They're so nice. Just to chill and open. But yeah, if you are new here, make sure you do smash the subscribe button. We're going for 8,000 subscribers. Hopefully we can get that fairly soon. I'm a newbie, I only got five subs. I'm sure you'll get there. It took me about a year or something to get my first thousand. So hopefully, shouldn't take you guys too long because it's a bigger audience now to when it was, I think, two, three years ago. That's when I started doing them, back in 2016, I think. I mean, it was crazy. My first videos were getting 100,000 views each. And we got a locomotive. May I ask you how you started out and how I got your subs? Uh, so on the coin channel, Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. On Facebook, I was on the coin groups, you know, sharing my link to my YouTube videos. And honestly, you just got to play the YouTube algorithm. I'm not entirely sure how it works, but, you know, 
seeing how you can rank your videos to get on people's recommended. So after someone say watches my video, your video pops up and you know, people watch yours. But yeah, I think I'm doing all right. I was, I think I was literally the first person to do these videos. I got inspired by something called Platinum Skies. He was literally like the first person, which was crazy to do them. Uh, he uploaded like, you know, two videos of doing coin roll hunting. I absolutely loved them. So I thought I'll go do them. I'd done them and now everyone's here. And I got overtaken massively by Christopher. But it's all good, it's not a competition at all. Thanks for the 10Ps UK coin hunt, super quick delivery. We'll leave good feedback on your site later. I appreciate it, thank you. You'll get an email, you know, within five days, I think, asking if you could leave feedback. Feel free, you don't have to, but obviously it helps. Oh yeah, because I posted yours yesterday, because I emailed you about your uh, address. Because I done it, I posted some other order that had just the house number and not the street address. And I think two weeks later, it got returned back to me. And now I've got to spend more money posting it back out, but you know, it is what it is, it's all right. Just means I've learned for it next time. But luckily I had a return address because if I didn't, I would have lost it, which would have been upsetting. But it is what it is, you just learn from your mistakes. We got a Guy Fawkes, uh, I got a Taekwondo today, wow. That's a nice find that. I never find Olympics, even in these big hunts. And you're only 20 years old. I'm 19, I'm 20 in two months. May you have a plug. Yeah, feel free, you can subscribe to UK Coins forever. At least you asked though, you know. I get a lot of people commenting on my videos, just shouting their self out. I like it if people ask, but you know, it's just common courtesy. Yeah, I'm 19, I'm 20 next month. I've been doing this, uh, well, I've been doing my website for a year this month. And yeah, it's massive now, which is, you know, the aim, how uh, you wanna get it. I don't make too much, but it's enough to, you know, help people out, get stuff for cheap, like the, the bunk coins. So you see, I do like pre-orders for the Gruffalo. I literally make no money on that. The Wallace and Gromits, I literally make nothing. It's all to like help people get stuff for cheaper because who really wants to buy, you know, a 50p coin in like 10 pound worth of plastic. So yeah, who wants to buy plastic? No one really. I'll tell you, I'm not allowed to buy any plastic bottles or anything. Hello, Kim. Uh, my dog's barking. I'm gonna let my other dog out, two secs. Go on then, go on. They probably think someone's at the door. Hello, Steve. What have we got here then? Shoulder, shoulder, credit to you, mate. Yeah, it's hard work, very hard work. I started doing this when I was at college. I done IT at college, learned how to do everything, built my website. Um, and yeah, great fun. Brunel. And we've got some shiny, shiny technologies. The coin albums literally make nothing, but it's like, I, I'd rather make nothing and sell them because they look so nice and it's just perfect. It is, it is sort of branding as well, but I just couldn't be happy with them because I had the first lot made. Uh, they were all right, but I weren't too happy with them. But now we've got these, I'm over the moon. I can't stop ordering them. And hopefully, one day, if he does more colours, I can get some more. Are the 2019 Britannia's out? Uh, Circulation-wise, no. They won't be circulated. Coin albums are awesome. I hope so. And then we've got a wireless transmission. Yeah, that was a fly again. Uh, is that, that's not our first one, is it? Mm, maybe it is. But yeah, if you're new to the stream, make sure you do subscribe. I will be going live again tomorrow, fingers crossed, because uh, the lighting's not so great in this one, and we'll film earlier on, so 
we do get some good old, you know, quality. What's your favorite two pound coin? Mary Rose. That is my favorite. That's why I get so happy when I find it. Not just because it's over face value, but because it's one of my favorites. But I've actually, yeah, look, that fly. It's annoying. I might have to open like all my windows. Actually, I can get it out. Hopefully nothing falls out because I've got my whole window sill is literally full of coins. But hopefully it should go out now. Nope. Okay. We've only got a few more bags left. And we've got 40 people. The fly wants all the attention. It does. Have you found... Uh, have I missed any good finds? Yeah, we found... In the 50p hunt, we found two 2018 rabbits. Which was, you know, pretty amazing. As they do go for a fair bit. You should make a 50p... Um... 50p coin Christmas box. I used to be able to know where you get them made, but I literally forgot, which is annoying. But yeah, they go for a lot of money now because I have a couple myself for my Christmas collection. They go for like a hundred odd quid. Used to buy them for I think like 14 pound. But I could do, maybe. It's still it'll take ages to work out because I need to find a supplier, a you know, a, what do you call it, a sensible one. Uh, if we leave the EU, I'm not sure how it's going to work with everything coming in from the customs and, you know, paying VAT or whatever it is, the custom charges on top. But yeah, it's going to be expensive. If you send a letter to, let's say, uh, Poland, whatever, you're going to have to pay... No, wait, you won't have to pay because it'll be under 130 or quid. But you have to fill out a customs form for everything. It's just so much more hassle way more but i have nothing i have no idea about this brexit stuff so yeah had a new pant in my change five minutes later had it in another shop yeah they're quite popular and i suppose they're probably gonna be quite high mintage as well we've got a guy forks oh, where is it there and is that it that is everything so let's get the other stuff we had so the two pounds we found earlier were, we found some more as well. How many Isaac Newtons do you have? Uh, maybe about 20 odd. I'm just gonna spread them out so you, you guys can see. Maybe the Brexit coin will have. Honestly, I can't wait for the Brexit coin. I think it's gonna be quite cool. Hopefully we do, you know, see it in circulation. We better because I'll be a bit upset otherwise. So that's from the two two pound coin hunts. Are you still pursuing the app? Uh, I don't know. It's gonna cost a lot of money. I did I did sort of get halfway through it. Like I've paid the app store uh, to be able to upload on there. So that's all paid. I've just got to find something to make the app. I did, but I didn't like it when it was made. So, you know, I had to start from scratch. But 110%, that's something I would I would love to do close the window it's freezing it's like two degrees out there but yeah i do really want to do the app yeah as you can tell my voice is going a bit now and let's get the 50 p's out still got some more two pounds here hi i'm back hello harrison so i'll show you guys the two pounds i'm not sure if you guys can see that well so that's all the two pounds we saw, hopefully. You know, the skulls, which were great. The 50 Ps we found. So, you know, 2017 Potters. Hopefully you can see, hopefully. If you can't, that'd be a bit upsetting. But I'm not sure what dog that is. It sounds like a chihuahua. Um, yeah. And right there. So, as you were saying, Independence Brexit should be a bank holiday for us. That'd be nice. <laughs> bank holiday. Means we don't get any post though, which is annoying. But that's everything. Let me see if I can like turn it a little bit. Bring it further down, maybe. That should be all right. That's quite a neat little spot, that. 
lighting is okay. Yeah, so tomorrow uh, we will be, oh, wait there. So you can see that coin's like got the shine. It's only a Benjamin bunny anyway. So tomorrow we'll be doing another live, hopefully, if I get the change. If I do get the change, it'll be earlier on. So about three, four-ish, where the lighting outside is good. I don't have to use this light here because it reflects off all the coins. You can't see anything, which is annoying. So a bit gutted about that, but we've learned from that. So yeah, this is the haul we got. You know, where is it? Where's my 2018 rabbit gone? There. So we found two of these, which is, you know, phenomenal, especially with low mintage. Thanks to the new albums, pen coins, and the display cases, they're all very uh, great quality. That's nice to hear. I'm happy with, you know, when I got the display cases ca uh, coming through, so like this, I literally told my supplier how happy I was with them. They are, literally, the quality of them is great. The same with the albums. I texted them and said I love them. They are, they are great. As you can see, they're all on the website. They're only like four pound. If you guys do want the burgundy and green ones, we've got those coming back soon. Maybe like two days, they'll get restocked. But they sold out like a bomb. I've only had them like, what is it, a week and a half? And <laughs> I've sold 600 of them already. So yeah, overall, not too bad. We've had a fair amount of people in here. Uh, we've been going on for about an hour now. So my voice is going, I forgot to get a drink. I've got to go walk my dogs in like two degrees. So it's going to be freezing. Um, I've actually forgot to feed them as well because I was doing this. I forgot to feed my brothers as well, but it's all right. Coins come first. How it is. Hopefully catch you tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So yeah, hopefully stream tomorrow. Uh, this is everything. We filled the albums, you know, a few here and there. Nothing for the two pound though. I uh, don't think I've ever heard you say Benjamin Bunny about sounding depressed. <laughs> we only got like, I think three of them or something out of so one, two, about two or three out of five hundred uh, out of two hundred and fifty pound. So that's not too bad. I'm overly happy with that. Sherlock Holmes, we got a few twenty nineteen Panton Towers skulls. So I'm gonna keep a few of these. Uh, I'll put the rest in back in circulation. Bag it all back up. That'll be my night sorted. Rebagging it all, taking it back to the post office. Then getting some more change, bringing that back, and hopefully we can have a good stream tomorrow with nice lighting, uh, some nice chit chat. And I do want to make this like a permanent thing. So when I get the office built, I'll have a face cam, we'll be all chilled. We'll go for a few hours, maybe twice a week or something. I'll have to order some more change in. But that, that's the idea when we all get that set up. A nice, fresh, hot office. So it's not nice and cold. But yeah, oh, quick question, because the last chance, have you ever considered going in a different area? Yeah. So at the moment, I stick to one area. I have gone maybe like 20 miles down uh, to find some, some more change. But yeah, so that's going to be it. Uh, we could find some more change. Hopefully tomorrow should be some post office change. But fingers crossed, I'll let you know on the community page, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So make sure you follow me there. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Going for about an hour, so nice and short. Three bags we done. And yeah, so we'll see you tomorrow. Fingers crossed. I would love to do this again tomorrow. It might just be two pounds, who knows. But yeah, peace.